Hello and welcome to another exciting tutorial. Today, we will create the group opacity controller script in Unity. This script allows you to control the opacity of all child renderers and sprite renderers within a game object. So, without further ado, let's dive right in. To get started, create a new script and name it group opacity controller. Double click to open it in your preferred code editor. Clean the script by removing existing methods. Define a public float variable called opacity with a range from 0 to 1. This variable will control the opacity value we want to apply to the renderers and sprite renderers. Declare two arrays, renderers to store references to all child renderers and sprite renderers to store references to all child sprite renderers. In the start method, retrieve references to all child renderers and sprite renderers using the get components in children function. This ensures that we can access and modify the opacity of all child objects. Now, create the set opacity method. This method takes the desired opacity value as a parameter. First, check if there are any renderers, and if so, iterate through each renderer. For each renderer, iterate through each material it uses. Retrieve the current material color and assign the new opacity value to the alpha component of the color. Create a new material property block to modify the material properties. This allows us to change properties on a per renderer basis. Set the color property of the material property block to the new color that includes the updated opacity value. Finally, apply the material property block to the renderer with the specified material index using the set property block method. After handling the renderers, check if there are any sprite renderers. If there are, iterate through each sprite renderer and update their color directly by assigning the new opacity value to the alpha component. Now, call the set opacity method inside start to set the initial opacity value. Next, we want to call the set opacity method whenever the value of the opacity variable changes. For this, we need to use the update method to continuously check for changes in the opacity value. To do this, Define a private float variable called previous opacity to store the previous opacity value. In the update method, check if the opacity value has changed since the last frame. If it has, call the set opacity method to update the opacity. Next, apply the execute always attribute to the script class. This attribute ensures that the script is executed even in the Unity editor's edit mode. It allows us to see real-time changes to the opacity without needing to enter play mode. Let's save the script and head back to Unity to see it in action. Create an empty game object and make some 2D and 3D game objects its children. Please note that we cannot change the opacity of default materials as they are not editable and by default, they do not support transparency. So create some materials that support transparency and assign them to every 3D object. Now, attach the group opacity controller script to the parent game object. Change the opacity value using slider. As we can see, we can control the opacity of the entire group. Now, this is all good and the script is working as expected. But it can be further improved. Here, we are using the update method to check for changes in the opacity value. Continuously checking for changes every frame may not be the most efficient approach. To improve performance, you can use a property with a setter to handle the opacity value and call the set opacity method only when the opacity changes. So first, remove the update method. 
Now make the existing opacity field private and create a public opacity property. In the getter, simply return the value of the private opacity field. In the setter, assign the value to the private opacity field. To be safe, clamp the value between 0 and 1 before assigning it. Next, call the set opacity method and pass the private opacity field as a parameter. Now, whenever a value is assigned to the opacity property, the set opacity method will be called. Now, there is one issue. Properties cannot be exposed to the inspector. So, we can only expose the private opacity field by using the serialize field attribute. Now, the private opacity is exposed in the inspector, but we still have one issue. As you can see, changing the private opacity field using the slider does nothing. The reason is that in the inspector, we are changing the private opacity field value and it will have no effect on the opacity property whose setter is calling the set opacity method. There is a solution. We have to use the onValidate method. OnValidate is an editor-only function that Unity calls when the script is loaded or a value changes in the inspector. Now, inside OnValidate, call the setOpacity method with the private opacity field as a parameter. So, whenever we move the slider to change the private opacity field, OnValidate will be called and hence, the setOpacity method will change the opacity. Now, Save the script and head back to Unity to test the script. Change the slider value to control the opacity of all the grouped 2D and 3D objects. We can also change the opacity by accessing the opacity property from a script or from a UI element. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. See you in the next video.